so uh, yeah, my name is David Warner. I was in the, uh, the Wind Power Project Management class of 2015 to 2016. I saw the, the WPPM program and thought, well, you know, there's no better place to learn about wind power than really where it's already, um, you know, solidified, where it's already, you know, known as a very solid source of uh, energy. So that's why I saw Scandinavia and said, yeah, let's, uh, let's go for it. Right after the program, I moved back to uh, Los Angeles, where I'm from, I then uh, got a position working with uh, WinSim, so CFD uh, software manufacturer, and um, was working with them as both a, an engineering consultant and a business development manager, which was very interesting for me. I had never really done business development management before, but um, and then about after a year and a half of working with WinSim, I got a position as a wind resource assessment engineer at GE in uh, New York. So it took me across the country from LA. After just about three years at GE, I was offered a position at Vestas doing um, siting solutions work. And so instead of actually running the loads, I'm now more of managing a, uh, a team of loads engineers and kind of working more in a customer facing role. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd say that the lessons kind of keep coming up in very different respects. Um, I mean, right out of the program, I, I, I'm not, and I'm not sure if the program is still working with WinSim and teaching WinSim as, you yeah, know, a, yeah, they do. to WinPro, but, you know, I, I ended up working for them for a while uh, for that year and a half after grad school. And so like, I, I would say that was a very direct application of uh, what we learned. It, I think beyond that, it was um, a great networking opportunity for me, a great networking uh, lesson for me. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, I would say that a lot of the lessons learned uh, in the classes have, have carried over and, you know, I'll still kind of pull from that knowledge and, you know, build upon it. I, just having that camaraderie in a foreign place as, you know, for the first time in my life, truly being, well, not the first time, but like for the first time for a very prolonged amount of time, being like a true foreigner and having, you know, that support system and having the people around me who, you know, I still reach out to today to, uh, you know, to talk to, to, to chat about what's going on on their side of the industry, whether, you know, that it's people, like I said, Jose or Henrik, who are still at the, at the yeah. university um, right now, or other folks who are at, uh, you know, a developer or a different OEM or whatnot, you know, it's, uh, those relationships last, you know, if yeah. you, if you put some time and some effort into it. And so it's, I think that that's, you know, that's the, it's not, that's not a, a, a single thing. That's not a story per se, but you know, that's uh, probably one of the more meaningful things that I was able to take out of the social aspect of uh, living in, uh, in Visby. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I would say that if they are interested in wind power at all, um, and interested in higher education and, you know, and not, and, and interested in a valuable higher education program at that, I should say, uh, you know, if, if any of those three apply, uh, or if any of the, you know, if any intersection of those, uh, apply to someone who's thinking about the program, I would say, just, just go for it. Yeah.